For the first time, a recreational enthusiasts group has been targeted by police. The Premier lashed out at criminal lawyers describing them as hired guns. The notion that a government will legislate and discriminate via legislation... And, think that and breaches Australia's obligations to international treaties. Of course criminal What is VLAD? It is a bill that passed through the Queensland Parliament in 2013. It defines a vicious lawless associate as someone that commits an offence. The citizen is exempt. Not if insufficient evidence exists, but if the citizen can prove their innocence. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, All are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. The Vlad Act continues and defines association as any other group of three or more persons, whether the group is legal or illegal. The UDHR again clashes by stating, Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. What do we want? Freedom! freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! freedom! The uh, price of, of liberty is eternal vigilance, as Thomas, Thomas Jefferson once said. Somewhere we took our eye off the ball and we elected these people that supposedly represent us. We started the uh, Motorcyclist Australia Party. Australia used to be a fair country where there was a fair go. We've lost the plot. We've become self-absorbed. If we don't act as a collective, then we will never succeed in ousting out these politicians. There's no credibility with either of the major parties, as you find out. It's Tweedledum and Tweedledummer. At the moment, we're getting shat on from a great height, and the only people who can do anything about it is us. You know, I'm not really on the government side, I don't know too much, but I know what how this is affecting my dad. And it is horrible. The health issues that he's currently under, battling his work. He's not a criminal, he does not have a criminal history. So for anyone that thinks, well, if he's not doing anything wrong, then how does this affect him? Please talk to me, because it is affecting every one of us in Yay! our family. Yay! My family were under surveillance 24-7, all because my family were a part of a motorcycle club. Sometimes my younger brother and I would be approached and stopped by two male police officers. They would ask questions such as, hey Pedro and Eleni, how were things doing at home? What is your mum and dad doing? We would just stay silent until they would leave. Whose side are you on, the bikey gangs or the police force? To my reply was my family, my uncles, my role models, my teachers, motorcycle bikey clubs. I'm not the only minor, teenager or child that suffers living with this. I blame the government. I blame the LNP. I blame the media. And Campbell Newman for labelling my family. So Campbell Newman and to the LNP, I am free to associate who, with whoever I want. To know that you can sleep at night, knowing this happens to children and teenagers, is sickening and abhorrent. I hope you're satisfied with yourself. You know, I'm more comfortable going to somebody that looks like my dad than going to the police. I used to get searched in cars when I was little, and I'm terrified to go to a police officer if I need help. And nobody should ever feel like that. That's a horrible feeling to know that the people that are supposed to protect you could lock your father away. And oh, yeah. If Dad can't work, then I can't go to school. I can't pursue my careers. I, Alex can't pursue his careers. You know, everything folds if Dad loses his job. Um, not something that I've ever really told anyone before. I grew up in a very violent, abusive home, and uh, it took a rebel truck driver who was travelling with my dad to pluck me out of there and make sure I got a university education. So I'm in this fight because I believe I owe my life to someone that gave a damn. Now, I would like to direct this next thought to the Queensland Police Force standing around us. Mark my words, just as they did at the Royal Commission in 1881, all of you will be used as the fall guys and tossed aside with us, they're named Riff Raff, whilst they continue on their grab for cash and elite corporate status. 
people. This is a dead set act of making money for government coffers at the expense and well-being of your own people. May your God save you, Attorney General Blaise, because the people of Australia won't. If my lips teach the public that men are made mad by ill treatment, and if the police are taught that they may exasperate to madness men they persecute and ill-treat, my, my life will not be entirely thrown away. Ned Kelly, 1880. 134 years later, here we are again, fighting the same fight that he fought back then. Against an